All right, guys, hope you're doing well. So, uh, yeah, this is a slightly difficult video to make. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the recent Earth blog post, just a small post saying that I'd left the program. Um, and obviously, I've been getting inundated with messages and emails and this, that, and the other. So, I thought I'd write down a piece, a small article, and read it out um, because. I feel like I want to just present the truth from my point of view. Um, I feel like I've got a duty for the people on my channel to hear it. Um, and yeah, I don't, this is nothing against Dr. Wilson, by the way, or Larry. Um, this is to do with, you know, guidance coming from elsewhere that I have been having issues with. Um, as well as other, a lot of other people, to be honest, and uh, other practitioners. So I, yeah, I felt like there's no other way for me to explain, you know, why I've decided to be removed, why I've decided to remove myself from the practitioner list without basically telling people um, my opinion. So. I've, I've written it down just to try and explain it much clearer. So I'm going to read through it and um, yeah, hopefully that will explain things. And um, obviously I look forward to any comments or um, anything you'd like to say, uh, you know. So here goes. Hi guys. First of all, I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in and listening to this video. I wasn't expecting to announce this so soon, however, Dr. Wilson wrote a small piece about me being removed from his practitioner list on his website. I have been inundated with messages and emails, so I wanted to make a video explaining the reason why I asked to be removed from the list. I will try to keep it as compacted as possible, but it would be great if you could listen to the whole video, as this doesn't mean in any way I'm stopping anything. In many ways, I feel God has guided me onto new pastures, and I'm excited about the future. I wanted to make the video in this speaking format so everything was as clear as possible. The first thing I would like to say is I do not have a problem with Dr. Wilson whatsoever. This is not about Larry, this is about the apparent guidance that has been coming through to him. I fully appreciate Dr. Wilson, his experience and all that he has done for me because without him there is no way I would be where I am. Unfortunately, recently, I and others have been having a lot of problems with the advice that have been coming through to Dr. Wilson. I used to think it was guidance from higher beings, but for reasons I will discuss in this video, I have some serious hesitations about it. My biggest concern is that you cannot verify the guidance, even though it is possible to do so. For example, Larry says some of the guides live on the earth. I have heard that he asks the guides numerous times to call and they never do. This is a big red flag for me. Another example is recently there were refugees from outer space that have come to the earth and are now living in tents in America. Can we verify them? Can we get a location or speak to them, etc. Recently there was a post about rape. Apparently the guides found thousands of buildings where the rapists hang out around the world. Can they verify one building? Is this real? Can we send the information to law enforcement and save thousands of lives and potential rapes? They also say they use Facebook groups. Can we get the name of a group or hand it in to law enforcement? Another message we get constantly is that the earth is being cleaned up. Dr. Wilson even admits that he asks them what is happening specifically and never gets a response. This is strange. I'm just going to quickly go off the article. Um, this is a constant problem that we have um, as practitioners is, yes, I appreciate guidance comes from elsewhere, but there's many times where the guides have said something specifically happened on the earth. Some of the guides live on the earth and, you know, can we verify them? And I'm beginning to realise that we, even though there's opportunities to do that, we never get that evidence, you know. So this is sort of a small thing that's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger it wasn't the main reason why i left but it's it's yeah it's been causing problems so anyway back to the article often we are given program changes for clients that come directly from the guides often we find this guidance is incorrect when the client's new hair tests come in 
One issue we have is that many clients believe we are receiving the guidance from Dr. Wilson, a man with 40 plus years experience. Instead, we are receiving information, sometimes dangerous, from unverifiable sources. Now, this is a big problem. Um, I've heard about other situations whereby the guides have given advice that's not come from Dr. Wilson, and that advice has sometimes led that particular client to be hospitalized, you know, so, we've got to verify this sort of stuff. It's not coming from experience, it's coming from elsewhere, and it's, it's, it's a lot of it, unfortunately, is often wrong. Okay, so this is a difficult video for me to make. I am extremely spiritually oriented and by nature enjoy reading the Earth blog that talks about much of the stuff Dr. Wilson hears. Unfortunately, up until now, I have not seen or been able to generate any real world evidence or verification, even though many things we hear are related to the earth and to individuals living on the earth. In recent times, it seems that the guides are coming out with more and more outlandish advice. For example, bombs under people's cars that, that are never there, rogues firing bolts into people's ears, which causes tinnitus when usually we would give a, you know, a much better explanation, which is sometimes heavy metals in the cochlea. You know, you can't present this sort of information to clients. It's ridiculous. People being, people being abused and raped when in reality they haven't. Guides warning people about danger and none comes. I say these things mainly because the advice seems to be getting more stranger, but worryingly even more wrong. You would like to think that as time goes on, the advice becomes more accurate, but from what I can see in speaking to the practitioners, it isn't. It's becoming more off track and quite frankly, quite strange. I can mention many other things, more worrying things, but I will not as I don't want to expose the people who have told me in private. Like I say, I don't want this video to be some sort of vendetta against Dr. Wilson. As I say, I appreciate him immensely, but recently most of his advice and information comes from voices in his head that are often wrong and cannot be verified. I don't like talking about this at all, and I don't want this to take anything away from the absolutely amazing program, but I feel people have a right to transparency. If we start getting some real life verification, then I will be much happier to accept what is happening, but unfortunately for now, I must remove myself from the practitioner list. This, however, wasn't the main reason why I left. You may have seen on the blog recently about the voices not allowing certain people on the program. These people are called criminals. When the voices told Larry about this new rule, all of a sudden many practitioners were inundated with so-called criminals on their books. Personally, in just over two weeks, I was told I couldn't work with eight clients I had sent for review because apparently they were criminals. This seemed to be the final straw for me. Not only did I believe the guides were completely wrong, but now I'm losing vital income as a result. A total of around £1,200 in lost revenue, not including potential supplement loss and future tests. Larry did offer to refund the hair tests, but this made up around 25%. And anyway, the money wasn't really the biggest issue, it was the fact I thought they were wrong. Many of these criminals were friends of mine, some had been on the programme for two to three years. Again, we got no verification or information on what they had actually done. One practitioner run background checks on his criminals and they came back clean. Some of mine apparently were using collation shampoo to skew their results. When I questioned them about the shampoo, they seemed genuine and told me they used generic shampoo. Larry told us that if we decided to work with these clients in any way, we can no longer be on the practitioner list. I heard things like one client was pretending to be Jewish the other was a prostitute. When we try to verify any of it, none of it comes up trumps. Are we not meant to help prostitutes and criminals? It makes no sense. I personally believe it was another array of bad advice from the apparent guides. So I decided to remove myself because of this and my other previous points. I read this with a heavy heart. I am not against Larry, I am against the guidance. The Bible warned us about guidance saying that many rogues can masquerade as light. I don't know if this is happening, but from now on, I'm going to trust the advice from the Bible and listen to my heart and intuition. 
One final point I would like to make is that the guides have a habit of giving practitioners the green light for various projects they wanted to do. The practitioners loved the program and wanted to expand upon it in their own businesses and also to earn them extra income. We all, as far as I'm aware, work multiple jobs because we are not allowed to expand and branch out in other areas. Many of us got the green light for projects including recipe books, automatic reporting systems, online subscription services and more. Spending months of work and thousands of pounds on projects only for the guides to tell us to remove them upon launch. This is a constant problem and it hurts a lot of practitioners. Moving forward, nothing will change for me. Luckily, I have managed to create my business mainly through YouTube and other avenues. I will teach what I have learned and set up my own healing programs. Being on the program for 10 years and working with hundreds of clients, you begin to see a few small tweaks that harm clients' progress that I feel need to be changed. One issue is some supplements end up swinging people too far too much to one side, causing them insomnia and trauma. The guides change their programs if they check in with the practitioners, but when we get the results back, they are often wrong. In the past few days, I have gave my own advice and changed the way some supplements are dosed and created a new way of keeping track of people and their supplements. So far, I have had so much praise from individuals on how much better they are doing and sleeping as a result. This, again, is just something I have personally noticed. So although I won't be able to call my advice the development program, I will name it something else. I also now have the opportunity to build supporting systems that I was not able to create in the past that I feel will help massively. Now I am going to go away and figure out what the best way forward is. Nothing has changed much really. I am still working the exact same as before, but in my opinion, with better advice. Again, I stress this video is not a slinging match at Dr. Wilson. I completely respect him and everything he does. I hope the community can work together with Larry to verify the guidance. For now, I will listen to God in my heart who has guided me on a slightly different path. In many ways, this wasn't me who left, it was God who guided me to leave. I am extremely excited about the future. I believe this new chapter will be more magical than the last. I love you all, Lewis. All right, guys, so I hope that explains what's going off. Um, for me, it's something that's been building up for a while. Um, I appreciate it's probably going to be a shock to a lot of people. It's not really too much of a shock to me. It's been something that's been building up, building up, building up. Um, like I say, I'm, a, I'm actually very excited. I think this is a brand new chapter. I feel like I can produce things now that... Um, is going to be really, really helpful and, um, you know, great for the 21st century. Luckily, God has implanted me various skills um, to create such things. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited to see what flourishes over the next few months to years. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.